Hello and welcome back to this new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tech helmet completely out of cardboard. Let's get started. So I started with this dome, or it's not a dome, but the beginning of the dome, and I added these two crossbars for stability. And this strip is a lot thinner than on my other helmets, these helmets, uh, because if you can look right here, you can see that Tex helmet, like almost is curved the entire way, and all the way to there. You can also see it in this picture. I got these, this image I got from Galactic Armory, by the way, and this I just found online on the Star Wars website. So that's why it's a bit thinner because, yeah, then I, it'll look better uh, with this almost like continuous curve. So now I'm gonna work on those earpieces right here. And after that's finished, I am going to start with the face piece. All right, so I made this template piece that for the face of the, of the helmet, and that's gonna go right here. It was inspired a bit by Odin Makes. He also made a tech helmet, but I changed mine a bit. Like this is different and this is a bit wider. And also the eyes are more, are smaller, I think. And yeah, I'm just gonna change uh, my camera to a wide angle lens so I can show you better. So I think this is better to see the entire thing. So it's quite a big template actually. And I'm gonna trace this out, as, out onto some cardboard and glue it on right here. It kind of looks like a Sergeant Hound helmet at the moment. It's kind of hard to show how to put this on because the cardboard is quite, or the paper is quite fragile, but yeah, <laughs> that looks really bad, but it'll look good with some cardboard. And I'm also going to fill up this piece in the middle right there so that this stays together, obviously. So yeah, I'm going to trace this onto some cardboard and cut it out and glue it onto the helmet. So this is where I'm at with the helmet right now. and. I'm kind of skeptical with how it looks because this is like really long and I reinforced the inside with these metal pieces and now I'm probably going to start making the cheeks but I don't know maybe I'll have to redo it but I'll probably just keep this and just make the back and stuff. But first, I'm gonna make these cheek pieces. And yeah, I'll show you how to make that. So right here, you can see me making those cheek pieces. And these weren't very complicated to make. Uh, I just started by making those inner walls, which are approximately like half an inch long or wide. And you just wanna make it all around, but at the front wall, you wanna make it diagonal so just look at some reference images and you'll know what I mean and after that I just made the wall that makes up the entire cheek piece All right so as you can see I filled in these cheek pieces and I also added a thin I, yeah, it, it won't focus but a thin layer of cardboard on the inside right here uh, so that the corrugation is covered up and I'm probably also going to do that here on this part but maybe I'll add another layer of cardboard right here because on the reference images it's also a bit thicker than this also right here and now I'm probably going to start working on the respirator tubes right here those tubes on the side and make that go all the way over there and maybe I'll add this strip that goes all the way like this so yeah I'm gonna show you how to make those tubes right now so we have this piece right here for the tube that's gonna go on the side and I'm kind of gonna show you how I made it right now so first 
thing you're gonna do is bend this piece. So now we have this shape, and this doesn't really look like a circle. Well, it's a circle, but it's more like a pear, or not a pear, but an oval shape. So what I'm gonna do is um, get my a compass, compass, and make a circle that is the same diameter as the inside of this so that we can create like a good circle. So now that we have the circle in this tube, this can actually fit perfectly inside of here and we just need to push it back a little bit, not too much because there's going to be an, another detail on top of this. And now I'm just going to add some hot glue into here. So now that we have this, I also made some cuts in here and or cut out some triangles and glued that together so that we get this like curve um, at the back of the tube because that's also on the reference images. It's, it's kind of tech kind of has a weird respirator tube on the side, um, which kind of makes sense because their DNA is genetically no, not modified but different so now i'm gonna make that circle that goes on top of this and then i'm gonna glue it onto the helmet itself okay so i finally have both the respirator tubes on here finally after <laughs> a pretty long time because these tubes have a weird shape because it was kind of hard to make well at the end not when i finally found out how to make this really easy. I'm not really happy without there is some hot glue visible there, but I think that will not be very noticeable later on. Uh, so now I'm gonna make these, the detail pieces that go in right here, and then I'm gonna make the, the side piece that connects the cheek to the tube onto the ear. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make that right now. Oh, before I forget, I also made these pieces that will go right here. And this piece, I have to remake this because I was just looking at some reference images and it turns out that this is wrong. This needs to have an angle like going up right there. This one is correct, so that will go there. I covered up all the corrugation. So yeah. Let's make the detail pieces in the respirator tubes. So right here you can see the front of the helmet and these pieces are just gonna go right here. And then these two are going to go right here and right there. This is not very straight, but it will be once we glue it on. And I'm not gonna glue these on right now because these are a bit of a different color than the rest of this. So it will be easier to, to just paint these separately and then glue them on because otherwise I need to mask these off. And same goes for this. So I'm just gonna paint these uh, separately and glue them on after. So what I'm making right here are those tube pieces that go on the side or the tubes that go on the side. And how I made this was I had three pieces, one on the top, one on the side and one on the bottom. But what I recommend you do is make it two pieces. So one on the top and that those pieces on the bottom and on the side are like one continuous piece. And this will reduce the risk of the spackle cracking once you've sanded the entire and painted the entire thing. So I recommend you do that. It didn't happen on my luckily because I kind of reinforce it on the inside with cardboard, but please use two pieces and not three. All right, so I'm done with the respirator tubes on the side. And now I'm gonna work on the back. And when I'm finished with the back, I can connect these two pieces. So the back is pretty simple. It's just yeah, a back plate and then just a strip that you just need to look at some reference images and then it'll make sense. So I'm gonna show you how to make that right now. All right, so I said I was going to make the back, but that didn't work out very well because I need to, uh, double this layer of cardboard in order to make it more accurate because this is a bit thicker than just one layer of cardboard but in order to do that I need to remove this 
and if I remove that, then this will become very flexible and it will not be easy to work with. So first I'm gonna make the dome. I already kind of made this piece for it because Tech has kind of a flat dome on his helmet, but I'm gonna change it a bit more. I'm yeah, not, I'm gonna alter it a bit. So I'm gonna make the dome right now and then we can start working on the back. All right, so this is the main piece I have for the dome. And um, what you wanna do, this is not my dome technique, by the way, I didn't create this. It was made by RJR Productions. And so what you wanna do is make this cardboard strip of about, what is it? Like a little bit more than six centimeters. Like I think it's 6.2 centimeters, which, which is about two and a half inches, I think and about one centimeter or six millimeter millimeters inwards i think that's a half inch wait i can check i think it's a half inch and if it's not then it's not but around this size and then i just made slits all the way to the end and now i'm going to curve this piece and glue it on top of my helmet all right so the main structure of the dome is now finished and now i just need to fill in these gaps or triangles uh, with some cardboard so i'll do that right now and then i'll come back and make the back all right so i finished the entire dome and i also started working on the, on the back a little bit so now i'm gonna make a plate out of cardboard or just like, like a back plate out of cardboard and glue that right here all the way across and then I'm gonna make that lip that goes all the way to the back and up here. I have made a lot of progress since last time. I finished the back of the helmet with these detail pieces and I also added this metal wire in here so that this is a bit stronger and the helmet is not as flexible uh, and now I've started working on the visor or the heads-up display this is gonna go right here and I'm just gonna make another one of these that will go here and extend it and make that visor piece that or the heads-up display that goes in front and after that i'm gonna make the goggles so i'm gonna show you how to make that right now all right so now i've made these ear covers that will go right here which like really make the helmet look like tech it's kind of the iconic you know not iconic but like this is what makes him recognizable these big ear pieces and now i'm gonna start working on the glasses and then we can finally start to spackle sand and paint so i'm really excited for that so i'll show you how to make the glasses right now all right so i finished the glasses and as you can see they have a yellow tint i paint, just painted them black and made that little detail right there and maybe i'll make a new pair in the future with a light right here but maybe i don't know that that'll be something for future not for now and i also put on some silver paint for weathering and i also made the heads up display with weathering it looks really nice also yellow tint as you can see and now all i got to do is finish sanding the helmet and then we can start painting that and then the helmet will be finished so right here you can see me sanding the entire helmet and this was actually my second pass over the entire helmet. As you can see, I already put on some primer and some extra spackle to fill in the gaps I missed. And with sanding, you just want to take your time and don't rush it. And just expect it to take long because the longer you spend on it, the better it will look at in the end. So the hard work on it really pays off. So I really recommend you sand a lot and if you miss some spots just sand it again put on some some spackle and then your helmet will look way better all right so i'm 
painting all the detail pieces right now as you can see those will go into the respirators the ear pieces the mouth details and once these are dry these are finished then and then i just need to mask off this and paint them gray and as you can see there are kind of some cracks in there but once they're painted gray you're, you're not going to be able to see them so yeah I'm, i was kind of worried about that happening but maybe if you make these reinforce them with a bit more glue on the inside and then you'll be good so these are going to dry right now and then i'm going to paint the helmet all right so i have the entire helmet all taped up and with some paper i might have did it a bit too much but better safe than sorry so um now i'm gonna give you a tip for getting those smooth edges before i'm gonna spray paint this with uh gray i'm actually gonna paint another layer of a thin layer of white all, all around all around these edges uh, so that the tape is kind of sealed off and after that's dry i can do the uh, gray and then we'll get those smooth lines all right so i'm done with painting the entire helmet as you can see there are some small imperfections and that was due to some of the tape being a bit like having those little bumps but i can just fix that with a little white paint so i'm not gonna worry about that so now i'm just gonna glue in these details right here and um, then we can weather it with all those paint chipping effects and stuff. And then we can glue on the ear pieces and the heads of display and the goggles, and then we'll be done. All right, so I finished making this paint chip effect around the entire helmet. And I also made these little skulls on the ear pieces. I also weathered these, as you can see. And how I did that was I just made this little template piece and I put it on here, taped around it, and also like right there, and did the same for the lightning bolts. And I just painted it with some white paint, and I did the same for the black lines right here that make up like the actual skull. And I did that two times. And right now I'm gonna assemble the entire helmet, and then we can, I, I'll show you what it looks like when it's assembled entirely so I'm gonna do that right now and then you'll see the finished product product in a few seconds so let's go Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please like and subscribe and leave a comment below with a suggestion on what I should make in my other videos and I think this helmet came out looking really good, especially like the weathering and yeah, I think it looks really nice and the emblems on the side of this, with the skulls are like probably my favorite part of the entire helmet and also that like this heads up display can move and stuff so yeah that was it for this video and i hope to see you next time goodbye